Hello and welcome to the penultimate build of the Pateau de France uh, French National Aerobatic Team building every single aircraft almost in complete chronological order and yeah we, we've actually built this one before so don't worry you're not so bored on to uh, the older one this is a new build of this uh, aircraft it's the same kit except this time we're doing something slightly different marking wise and you've probably seen it on the screen already below me but that isn't the blue scheme, is it? Mm -mm. This is the silver or aluminium-y scheme. Now, you'll have noticed on the previous aircraft, uh, all the fighters that they have been, have all been in sort of aluminium finish, and then they've had, um, bar the first one, they've had uh, the tricolor on the wings or in the tail section, and in the case of the, uh, the Oregon, they have blue with stars on the tail and on the wingtips. Now, this is the first trainer used there by the Patrol de France and it follows on from the uh, Miss Staffel that we all love so much. So I decided to try and honour both sides of the Fugue Match star, both honouring the older side and the newer side. To do that, what I had to do was do half of it in the silver scheme and I did half in the blue. It worked out okay because I wanted to make one that was a lot better than my old one. If you haven't watched my older video, don't worry. But basically, some of the decals fell apart, some tore. It just wasn't great quality. And as a result of that, I wasn't really satisfied with the build that I did. I wanted to make one that I would be happy to have on my shelf. Every time I've walked past and seen the other one with the decals that just look incomplete and broken and that there are bits missing that I can't even paint a replacement on, it's made me really sad. So I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to build one again as part of this series. Especially that it could honour two sides of the French aerobatic team. It's a really wonderful build. As you can see, I basically rushed through building it. I already know how to build the cockpit, I already know what colours to do, and I've painted the two halves of the fuselage straight away. That's so that when I merge them together, I'm not going to have to go through and tape it all up and colour correct it and constantly try and match it up. It just means, boom, it's done. There's, because the wings are both going to be tricolor, the only other section that I need to watch out for is the wingtips. But again, they're just going to be either silver or blue. Now, thank God for modeling tape, because how the hell would I be doing these kits without modeling tape to like get those really clean lines? Because, my God, I am dependent on this stuff. It makes me feel guilty how much I use sometimes, because I just end up with so much waste from it but at the same time i get really good results so i can't set up <laughs> but yes as usual we started with blue and uh we're just using the same old blue that we've always used uh my, from ravel uh, ravel aqua color range and i was using fiery red and just white again and um, so that's the three colors we're going to be using here now for some reason compared to every other tricolor i've done this is the one that I felt like I got the proportions the worst done, and I don't know why. So I'm hoping that this is the last time I ever have this massive problem with it. Now I also didn't do white next, normally I do blue, white, red, uh, this time I've gone blue, red, white, which is really really unusual for me, but I felt like just getting the white on top and doing it last would mean that I hopefully get the cleanest lines possible, and it's easier to paint over a little bit of white than it is to paint over a little bit of um, a, a, a red or blue that goes onto the white once you've finished painting it. Um, so obviously you'll paint so many layers of it anyway that if you get a little bit of colour underneath you, you will cover it up. So that, that was sort of the logic behind it. I, 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 I did this before I realised, you know, I could have just sprayed the whole thing white which someone suggested in previous videos, comments, um, which I have taken into account for my next one that you'll see. <laughs> but at the moment, yeah, I forgot to do that, and uh, that's why we've got what we have. <laughs> and it's uh, it's the usual slog now of painting the white on, and the white always takes a billion layers. It is not a quick process painting white. It just takes the longest time, like the longest time ever to paint white on. And yeah, it's just not fun. So we're just gonna, Watch the, watch the absolute agony of me painting white 
<laughs> and I do so much overflow as well because I'm trying to get a smooth consistency so when you notice you've got a little bit extra on you want to try and push it away and then you end up just having overflow and then it stacks at the edges and then you might have a ridge and it gets the wrong texture and there's so many risks doing white and I think spraying it white beforehand in the future is definitely the, the approach I'm going to use going forward however what I ultimately got from this wasn't a bad result though I'm not you know unhappy with it it just could have been made <laughs> a lot easier by by not having to tape it all up but look look we have a tricolor and it looks really nice I'm really really happy with how it looks um it, it looks cute I will say that I got really really lazy on the tail section when we get to that but there's some touch-ups to do first so we're gonna get those all done uh, I don't know if I've done the bottom yet I don't think I have up oh, there we go we're doing the butterfly tail section now and this is what I was really lazy with I didn't even take these up for some reason at first I was like no I'll just freehand it'll be fine oh what a mistake that was because it was not fine <laughs> it took me ages <laughs> to correct it and constantly have to keep going back over it and I think at one point I, it was off camera but I ended up just getting some tape on it on one bit because it just looked horrific I mean looking at the model now I'm sort of I'm happy with it. It, it. I'm not happy with it. It looks average at best. And that is my own fault. I, I, I tried to do something different that I don't normally do. It didn't work. And you know what? At least I tried. At least I tried to do something different, eh? But yeah, I, I, I could not get a straight line on it properly. But hey, lesson learned for next time. So we skipped ahead a bit here. I did some work off camera just to get the... Um, get to a stage where I was happy to put decals on it and that's what we're doing here we're putting on those pesky hella decals and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna be really careful with them they still broke <laughs> no matter how careful I am with these these decals break and I don't know why because no other decals I have from hella break it is always the Fugue Magic Sours do you have this experience can you let me know in the comments or are there any other kits where you have this experience please Write a comment below of your worst experience with decals because mine is this kit. It always has been and it always will be this kit. I remember it to the end of days. However, the bits that broke on the last one, which was the um, the like little Pertul de France markings on the right hand side of the fuselage. In this instance, that's the blue side of the fuse. Sorry, left hand side of the fuselage, the blue side. Um, that that didn't didn't degrade this time. So that was successful. The markings on the other side as well, also successful. So it meant that I was happy enough with this kit that I don't feel like I ever need to build it ever again in this marking. So that is it. <laughs> We're not building another one of these. Maybe you'll build the Belgian one again. <laughs> but right now, that's it. We're done with Patrol de France on the Fuga Magister. We're gonna, we've got a little bit left of it building, but otherwise that's pretty much it. You're gonna see some lovely pictures of the finished model. But if you've liked what you've seen here, please drop a subscribe, comment below, let me know what you're building at the moment, and I'll see you soon. Oh, and follow me on Twitch as Modeler. Bye! Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw here today to see more content as it comes. You can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash to watch me play these games live and chat with me. See you later. Bye.